On the morning of September 11, 2001, firefighters across New York were summoned to the World Trade Tower where two planes had crashed. As firefighters rushed into the burning building, they were accompanied by their chaplain, Father Michael Judge. Hundreds of them would die that day, including Father Judge. Father Judge was among them, and when he was entering the building, he saw the mayor, and the mayor said, play for us, Michael. And he said, I always do. Who was this man? Well, he was a f- born in Brooklyn in 1933, the son of Irish immigrants. And he lost his father when he was only six, and he missed him terribly. He eventually, he entered the Franciscans and was ordained in 1961. And he served as pastor of two parishes in New Jersey before moving to Manhattan and becoming the pastor of St. Francis of Assisi Parish. In 1992, he was named the chaplain of the New York Fire Department. He always said, I always wanted to be a priest or a fireman, and now I'm both. Within a short time, he gained the respect of all the firefighters. He was outgoing, friendly. He had the gift of gab and a great sense of humor. He talked to thousands of parishioners and firefighters and the Franciscans. And one priest said of him, He treated everyone like family. On the morning of 9-11, he accompanied the firemen into the World Trade Center. A few months later, after the catastrophe, there was a documentary picture showing the lobby area in the first tower. Father is seen walking slowly looking around, very worried, his hands and his lips moving in prayer. Moments later, he went outside to bless the body of a firefighter in a woman. And just as he removed his helmet, steel debris fell on him, killing him instantly. The photograph of firefighters carrying his deceit dead body to the nearby St. Peter's Church traveled around the world. Father Judge was only 68 years old. The man who led so many and who performed so many good deeds also had his struggles. He had a struggle with alcohol and at the time of his death He had been sober for 23 years. And he saved countless people by taking them to AA. One man noted that he was living in a box until Father Judge found him and cared for him. He was quite a man. The love words of a fire captain said, Michael was the kindest man in the world. He always had time for everyone. He once told his friends that when he got up each morning, he allowed himself two minutes to feel sorry. And then he went to work, helping and serving those in need. Father Michael was a flawed man, but like Christ, his loving kindness, and his selfless sincerity helped many. He was a true witness to the gospel, to the greatest love of all, laying down his own life for others. Michael Judge had a favorite prayer, 
And it went like this. Lord, take me where you want me to go. Let me meet who you want me to meet. Tell me what you want me to say and keep me out of your way. Today is a good day to say prayers for all the heroes and the victims of 9-11 and to include their families in their prayers, families who miss them so much. It was a tragic day. Over 3,000 people died in New York, Washington, and Pennsylvania. And this morning we pray for all of them with the words, may their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. <laughs>